there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, depending on where you're watching us from now. Uh, wow, I always wanted to say that. It's old Barry here, Barry and DR. Hey, I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about um, some interesting stuff here. First of all, though, a big high fives. High fives are going out to everyone. Uh, I'm just looking at some of my cheat notes here because we've got a little bit to cover here. No video right now. We're uploading some. But I want to bring your attention, first of all, um, a hearty thank you goes out to all of our subscribers doing their part in forwarding um, information to others. Here's why I'm saying this. Yesterday, Leanne uploaded a video for us, and uh, it was an explosive interview with Dr. Judy Mikovits. And many of you know she is a PhD in viro uh, uh, virology, so she studies viruses for a living. And she also worked alongside of Anthony Fauci, Dr. Fauci, uh, in the heyday back in the AIDS day. And, act and actually, she was quite uh, a leading movement in discovering the actual AIDS virus. Okay, the woman is a milestone, and they shattered her career for bringing forth truths about millions of people being killed, uh, especially over in Africa, uh, by these people, these same people that have you under lockdown. Anyway, in the video's description, I did mention, um, yeah, right here, that I knew this type of honest journalism was going to get, like, yanked in a moment's notice from YouTube, and it did. Uh, about, was that about what, Leanne? Three and a half hours later? Four hours later? Three hours. Okay, a little under three hours later, she's signaling me. She does. People don't like to be on camera. I don't know. I guess I'm just a ham. Anyway, uh, but this stuff's got to get out. I'm not, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to get sidetracked. I often do. Anyway, so in under three hours, Leanne's telling me we had just under, yeah, we just had under 8,000 views. This is why the big high fives are going out to everyone. I hope you took our advice and put it on a stick or some kind of flash drive because uh, we knew it was getting yanked. Okay, the amount of information being released from this that is non-disputable, of course, with the protection that has suddenly over the last two months kind of invaded YouTube. Like, you know, the minute you disagree with anything, it's like you're pulled, you know. I want, uh, people asked me to talk a little bit about that. And I said, it's not getting across to a lot of people. So uh, we know this is a happening, a current happening to everybody out there who's seeking truth, okay, who's uh, bringing truth to light. And that's exactly what a, a handful don't. So here we go again. It's time to, uh, people ask me, like, what can you say to get it out to people clear? You know, and so, I, I, of course, uh, I speak in the analogies or, you know, uh, parables, I guess you could say. But uh, listen, I want to maybe go back, and this is going back a while. So all you younger viewers, uh, bear with me, okay? I'm not as technically advanced as you guys. You guys are a lot smarter than an old man like me. So, uh, listen, I want to use an analogy before you were born, okay? Guys and gals my age, gals, that shows you how old I am. People my age would remember uh this and it'll really i hope it i hope it really clears clears up uh, this analogy of really where you stand right now when i was a kid and i was old enough to go to the movies on my own with my friends back then because of course back then you were allowed out alone with your friends see nobody called the cops on you about that but that's that's a different video See, all you needed was, I remember, even a key to your house, wearing it around your neck so you wouldn't lose it while you were playing football or something like that. And my goodness, uh, Cameo Movie Theater on Washington Avenue down in Florida, in Miami, Florida, Miami Beach, Florida, Washington Avenue near Flamingo Park. My God, that's bringing back five decades ago. My goodness. Anyway, I remember the price. It was 35 cents to get into the matinee during the week. It was 35 cents. Eh? So you guys take that one to the bank. Anyway, continuing on. 
in efforts to get this clearer to my subscribers, because you see, anytime you read a document that's 800 pages, anytime there's a bill, a law, and it's 400, 500, 900 pages like they all are, don't read it. Stop right there. It can't be true. You see, in, the, in many of the mystery schools, in the Kabbalah, and everything, truth is simple. If a seven-year-old cannot understand it, it's not truth. Okay, and uh, in terms of speaking, we're not talking in terms of science. We're talking in terms of general understanding now. So they had a system going back to our day, and they still do, but it's changed. But I want to keep it basic from the beginning. They had a movie rating system, okay? So back when I was, uh, you know, like nine years old or whatever, ten, and I was going out with my friends alone to a matinee once, once a month. It was a big deal. Because all we used to do is play stickball in the park, down at Flamingo Park. Anyway, uh, they had ratings. PG was one of them. And PG was for general audiences of all ages. Okay, so it could be anything from maybe Walt Disney to a cartoon to a, even a romantic picture. But it didn't show nudity. It didn't show anything that was would be considered remotely offensible to any age bracket. Okay, then you had one, and it was called R, the rating of R, which stood for restricted. And I'm pretty sure I'm accurate on this, but I believe it was 16 and under. It was considered not suitable, so you could not go, and you had to actually show us an ID if it was questionable. You know, much the same like you're going to have to show a virus ID card to be able to get into a movie or uh, a NASCAR event, or a football event in the near future, or Major League Baseball. You won't be allowed entry. If we don't stop this, you won't be allowed entry without your ID card that you've been vaccinated, okay? So you can be together with all these people. This is where it's going, people, as, as, as gray as that sounds. But anyway, 16 or under, you weren't allowed in, okay? You had to show your ID card. Then they had one that was X-rated. X-rated would be, um, it could be anything now. Everyone thought it was only nudity, but that was a part of it, pornography, nudity. But pornography back then was not what it is today. But it's, it's uh, it was, but it also, uh, you could have gotten an X rating for violence as well. And um, so that would be anyone under 18. Okay. To get my analogy across, I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm staring right in the camera right now. To get my analogy across, your owners do not think you're allowed into this movie. Okay? How embarrassing, how sad that you would put up with that. An adult, raising children probably. This is what you show your children. This is what you show them, that you're not even mature enough to get into the movie. You can't get into this. This is restricted. See, like it says, its content is restricted. It's not suitable for you. It's not suitable for you. You don't pass. You're not in that club. It's reversed now. What is PG? should be what should be restricted. What is restricted should be what's PG. What is X-rated? Well, yeah, sure, we're, there's no restriction on that. It has nothing to do with truth or reality. So sure, you can watch all the gore and all the porn and all the bestiality you want, sickening as it is. But to watch two adults have a conversation with their clothes on, and just discussing boots on the ground, type A data, tangible data. Don't get no better than that. And they have to flag it within hours. I hope this analogy clears things up. And I hope you understand why. And thank you for all the things giving me a high five. But in truth, it's not me. It's I'm giving it out to you because... If it wasn't for us reaching you and you helping us forward it, um, this chain would not keep adding links 
And um, remember, though, as with any chain, though, it's only as strong as its weakest link, and we're working on that. But I hope that analogy puts it really, really, really into a perspective of total clarity. I, I don't know how else, how simpler I can explain it. I think the explanation is really bullseyed. And um, I'm going to also be discussing... In future videos, we are expanding on now to what I promised I would, but this is cutting event. We found this uh, on BitChute and everything. So Leanne is linking it. We're giving uh, lots of people now got it on BitChute. We had it on one of our public blogs come in, Armstrong Economics. I always say sign up to it. It's phenomenal, real information, no hoopla, no fear. And uh, they both uh, posted a bit shoot extent. So we're doing our part also. The, the deepest, the deepest thanks. Okay, we were near 10,000 views in a matter of almost three hours. You guys are the best. And uh, I'm going to be doing some video on actually what I know a little bit from the mentors, a little bit on a, on a deeper thought pattern. And I'm going to discuss what the internet was originally developed for and why it was developed for that because the developers actually were and you can check it out yourself were that notorious company DARPA which uh, it just does not get any any darker than that company even the name sounds dark DARPA you know the resistance look it's DARPA you know I um Hope you get something out of this analogy. I'm going to continue on, but I wanted to, I felt this was the utmost importance. Put this on a flash drive. Show it to, if there's one, like I said in my description, if there's one video that you sit down and make a bucket of popcorn, keep your distance if that's, you know, my God, can't believe I'm saying this. But if there's one movie, one video you show people, make sure it's Judy. I am not saying it's the most eloquent. I'm not saying it's the prettiest. And I'm not saying it's the best cinematography. I'm saying it's the most information. This woman was boots on the ground on the same team as Anthony Fauci. This virologist is part and parcel responsible for isolating the AIDS virus. She whistleblows on how they delayed the information and it caused millions of deaths over in Africa. Remember that back then? It made the news. It made the public news, but it didn't say who was causing it. It didn't say who was funding. And, it, you know, it's really funny. And ending this video, they didn't say who's been funding this COVID-19 virus either, this coronavirus, right? It's like... The mentors always say it's so easy, like the yellow brick road, just follow the money and you're going to find the names of Gates and Fauci. You're going to find the names, the bought and paid for Ferguson's. You're going to find all of a sudden now the woman he's having an affair with is also involved with Big Gate, uh, Bill Gates in terms of one of the leading uh you know, uh, antagonist for uh, the CO2 movement and the Greenpeace and all of this, exactly what Mr. Gates is trying to do. So if you do some research, gather some cojones, go out, speak your mind. We'll get through this together. If not, just a small part of us are going to. Uh, I, I just, like I say, I don't want uh, ringside seats for this fight. I want to be out in the nosebleeds. And I've designed it that way. So uh, we're doing our part to get it out. You guys are more than doing your part. I, I just uh, a little town in the really in the on the coastline of the Dominican Republic. I mean, you can drive through Dabadad on all of three minutes if you want to to get around the world like this. I thank you all humbly, humbly. I thank you from my soul about all this great information we have now coming out in the near future get a load of this we have police in their vehicle in uniform starting to speak out now 
deeply speaking out about what's going on. Um, also, please bear with me. I'm doing, we're doing the best we can, but I'm going to, and it's going to be very, I'm sorry, I'm not in this to get popular, even though the videos are getting popular. I'm going to do a segment on what I studied about uh, from some of the, uh, I think, the brighter, clearer, more enlightened minds, like Mark Passio and various people like that, about the order takers. Okay, just remember that term, the order takers. And if they are starting to come out in uniform and speak out what's going on, powerful information. I'll be getting to that. I'll be getting to a lot more farmers on boots on the ground. I'll be getting to a few more nurses. Look at the doctors they've been shutting up, the doctors out of Bakersfield, right? You take a look at heroes like Rashad uh, Buttar. These are heroes, whether you like London Real or not. Forget your biased opinions. Look at at the exposure the dear man is giving towards a good cause. Leave your personal beliefs and leave your personal feelings out of it. We are one, and I believe that's what he says. In this case, you don't worry about the pixel. You concentrate on the picture. Okay, uh, so we'll Barry and DR, we'll keep going. I got to get back to work here and make some more videos as well as pick up some stuff over it. Hey, I remember you know, when I used to live in Florida decades ago, they had something called farm stores. Well, I got to go to the farm store only in Cabrera. It's a little different. I'm picking up some special stuff for uh, our, our, uh, our chickens and hens and our guineas because a uh, certain time of the year, there's some, you know, kind of uh, influenzas that are around and you just want to keep them healthy. We do that every year, no big deal, because uh, we let them free range, and we also give them a mix. So, I mean, it's um, it's something we we want to obviously keep them off of that, and it's just a yearly kind of bug, much the same as this lockdown's all about. Okay, hey, that's great closing. Anyway, Barry and Dr. Keep up the good work, guys. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Bye now. <laughs>